Mustard seed faith. That is the topic of today's video. I've been trying to get this video out for a couple of weeks now. It was placed in my spirit to talk about the topic of mustard seed faith. And this must be a pretty important message because when I tell you, it seemed like every time I get ready to record this video, something come against me. Last week on Sunday, I was on my way to church. I was getting my son ready. And if you follow me on Facebook, then you know that he had a serious, serious health attack. We're literally on our way to go out to church when all of a sudden he becomes completely disoriented. He's reaching at like, like he can't see. He's moaning and groaning. And at one point, you know, after I'm praying for him, he looks up and he smiles and I'm like, Oh no, uh-uh, the devil is a liar. Like, uh, you're not coming for my kid. He wound up in the emergency room. It turns out that it was actually a post-ictal state after a seizure, which the weird thing is he was awake and he doesn't typically have seizures when he's awake. I've never seen him actually have a seizure on that day. Like, it was just the weirdest, weirdest thing. Anyway, this topic of mustard seed faith is coming out today. We're going to talk about it because I think it's really important. And, you know, I'm going to give you my opinion, but I'm also going to give you the word of God. Because at the end of the day, my opinion doesn't matter. Your opinion doesn't matter. What we think and what we've been raised to believe does not matter. The word of God is the final authority. So what is a mustard seed? A mustard seed is a very tiny seed. It's around the size of a sesame seed or a poppy seed. It's very small. And so when, in the Bible, when Jesus talks about mustard seed faith, he says, if you have faith as a grain, tiny little thing of mustard seed, you will speak to the mountain to be thou removed, be cast into the sea, move from here to there. You speak to the mulberry tree. You know, these are symbolic. And it shall be moved and nothing shall be impossible for you. Well, if that's the case, Jesus, why do we have so many things that are in our lives that seem to be immovable? Sickness and disease, financial pressures mounting from every side. First off, your mustard seed faith is not meant to stay mustard seed size. It's supposed to grow. So when you say mustard seed faith, or when Jesus said mustard seed faith, he is saying you have the ability to move mountains with just a tiny bit of faith. That mustard seed size faith is the amount of faith that is implanted into you at the time you accept Jesus Christ as your Lord and Savior. And just that tiny amount of faith, as long as there's no doubt present, it can move mountains. It can move the mountains of sickness and disease in your life, mountains of pressures and, and all kinds of things. When you think of a mustard seed, you may think it's a tiny thing, but it's actually something that's explosive with power. The Bible says faith comes by hearing and by hearing the word of God. At your new birth, you heard something that convinced you that I need Jesus as my Lord and Savior. And that word brought faith into your heart. The same thing, the same word, that you hear from the Bible, the word concerning your circumstances, is what will bring about the impossible situations changing. Here's the thing. If your faith is mixed with unbelief, your faith is rendered null and void. But if you have small faith, even small faith can do so much in your life. Small faith without the presence of doubt can get your bills paid, get your kids saved, get your body healed. If you water your faith with the word of God, your faith will grow. But get this, here's the beautiful part about it all. God knew that we wouldn't get saved and be strong in faith right away. He knew that it would take time to develop that faith. But what do we do to get our needs met in the time that we're developing our faith? Well, we use that mustard seed faith that he gave us at the time of the new birth. So you don't need to ask God for great faith. You just need to develop the faith that you have. And while you're developing the faith that you have, take 
the word of God concerning your circumstances, whatever it may be. Find a scripture. If, even if you know one scripture, one scripture can whip the devil straight back to where he came from. One scripture. Meditate on it. Read it. Think about it all day. Speak it out loud. Put it on post-it notes. Post it around your house. Whatever it is, I'm telling you, beyond a shadow of a doubt, that small amount of faith that you're working on, that you're applying pressure to, will bring about the positive results that you're looking for in your life. Like I said before, I don't want to give you my opinion. Let's look at the Word of God. In the book of Luke, chapter 17, verse 6, the word of God says, And the Lord said, If you had faith as a grain of mustard seed, you might say unto this sycamine tree, Be thou plucked up by the root, and be thou planted in the sea, and it should obey you. And then in the book of Matthew, chapter 17, verse 20, the word of God says, And Jesus said unto them, Because of your unbelief, for verily I say unto you, if you have faith as a grain of mustard seed, you shall say unto this mountain, Remove hence to yonder place, and it shall remove, and nothing shall be impossible unto you. Notice the beginning of the verse says, Jesus said, Because of your unbelief. That means you can have faith as a grain of mustard seed, but if unbelief is present, that's the reason your needs are not being met. That's the reason nothing is changing in your life. So how do you get rid of unbelief? With the word of God. You have to saturate yourself so heavily into the word of God that it is your first response. Like I said, when my son had the attack on his body, my first response was, Jesus, your word says by your stripes, he is healed. That was my first response. When they took my job away, my first response was, God is my source. He said he will supply all of my need according to his riches and glory by Christ Jesus, my Lord. That's not to say that I'm some wonderful, faith-filled Christian and I have so much faith. No, there's times when I have faced, been faced with unbelief. But the times when I kick unbelief out of my life, and I choose to stand on the word of God, the small amount of faith that I have gets my needs met. Let me tell you, when the EMS took my son to the hospital, I drove while my husband rode in the hospital. I mean, in the, um, in the ambulance. And the entire way, I prayed in the spirit and I began to speak the word of God. And when the thoughts will come from the enemy, he's going to die. You know, he's going to be, he's having a stroke. That's what the enemy, isn't that terrible? The enemy told me my son was having a stroke. All I kept saying was, God, I praise you. God, I thank you. I thank you that your word says that Jesus was wounded for our transgressions and he was bruised for our iniquities. The chastisement of our peace was upon him and by your stripes he is healed. That's the only scripture I could think of. There's other scriptures on healing, but that's the only one I could think of. And that's the one. When I, by the time I got to the hospital, he was coming out of it. And because this was a really long time. This wasn't like some little five minute thing. It was hours. He was coming out of it. And my husband told me, oh, he started throwing kisses at the EMTs. And I thought that was so cute. It was such a sign. You know, it was like angel kisses. So sweet. Anyway, I don't want to make this really long. I just want to encourage you that if your faith is even the size of a mustard seed, as long as you don't have unbelief, you can speak to the mountain in your life to be removed. And it has to listen. God is not a man that he should lie, nor the son of man that he, he should repent. If he said it, he will bring it to pass. Thank you so much for allowing me this time to share on the subject of mustard seed faith with you. I hope that you got something from it and I will talk about some other things concerning faith this was just a little faith talk and I've got so much more to share with you but as God leads me that is what I will share anyway thank you so much for watching and go and be blessed